This week we go foraging for rats. Welcome everybody to Let's Play, a podcast in which we discuss various games of the video variety. I'm your host, Bobby FJ Tom, and joining us as usual, it's Sork. Sork, how are you and what did you play this week? Yeah, I got some Call of Duty Ghosts, got some, uh, hooked up my Wii, was playing some Dr. Mario while I was capturing some videos today nice, uh, nice. with work. Um, various things on my iDevices showed Carmageddon to the family at Thanksgiving. That was interesting. Um, yeah, a lot of other stuff like that. Uh, oh, Matt. Wait, hold on. Define family. Uh, I mean, define family. Uh, Which cousins, aunts, uncles. I think my grandfather was in on the mix. Wow. Yep. Is that, this is Should what Pittsburgh. Should your grandfather come again? And we said to the out-of-towners, this is what downtown Pittsburgh looks like. Um, uh, fun fact, I didn't downtown. know Madden 25 is a freemium game. And I love games that connect via Facebook because then I can play them on my Android tablet or my iPhone and keep everything in sync. Wow. So, good stuff. Cool. All right, uh, also joining us, Chachi. Chachi, what would you play and how are you doing this week? I'm doing well. I played uh, Ghost, NBA Jam, um, Pac-Man. Uh, there was an update to Arcade Craft. <laughs> I didn't know that. They didn't really change anything. They just added more games. Oh, good. Um, and That's yesterday kind of I played Super Mario Brothers 3, then had a nervous breakdown because I played Super Mario Brothers 3. <laughs> okay. And, well, I, I pride myself on it, my two favorite games for Nintendo being Super Mario Brothers 3 and Legend of Zelda. Mm -hmm. I reached a point yesterday while playing Super Mario Brothers 3 that I couldn't remember how to beat a castle. Hmm. And I freaked the fuck out because I, I know how to beat everything in Super Mario Brothers 3. Or so I thought. So, yeah, that happened. Um, so now I'm playing uh, Legend of Zelda Second Quest to see how much I remember of it. And so far, it's not going very well. Are you trying to, like, are you in this period where you're trying to figure out if you have, like, video game Alzheimer's? Yeah. Well, I'm in the process because I have a feeling that the new generation of video games is making us forget the old generation of video games. Oh, very well, it, could be. So you're that the the old knowledge is being replaced by new knowledge in video games. Hmm. And yeah, it's happening. All right, it's cool stand still. But at least I can't, about I can't remember it all, Sorg, and least, it upsets so, me. So, so well, at least you're you're emptying out some room by putting a lot of that information in Google. Right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. It sucks. Cool. All right. Uh, Riz, also joining us this week. Uh, how are you and what did you play? I thought you were going to skip me, Bobby. No. Why would I skip you? I wouldn't skip Good. you. I would. Good. Of course you would, Chachi. This is in your show. Um, but, yeah, I've been playing uh, Assassin's Creed 3, uh, 4, whatever freaking number they're on, and a little – Little fun fact that happened uh, when I when I said I was going to play AC4 Assassin's Creed 4. Okay. I got a reply that said, "What game is that? If it's Animal Crossing, could you tell me what that's about?" <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry to message you like that, Riz. I just <laughs> and then I tweeted the. I, 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 I replied back, Animal Crossing 4, it's a lot darker than 1 to 3 combined. <laughs> Some stick, sick stuff, I swear. You still get a rock guitar, though. <laughs> yeah. Wait, who, who, Trade who rock guitars for apples. Who messaged I, you this? I went on the Loot Crate app that they gave us. Oh, okay, never mind then. Go for it. And I, I, I don't know how, I don't know why, like that, that comment broke me a little bit. As it a bit probably should. Died. Not all nerds are video game experts though, so true, true. I forgive them. Yep. It's true. I don't. Just like I wouldn't call myself a, a comic book expert. I don't. 
I don't really either. But what else do you play? I've also been playing um, some various applications on my phone what? as games on my phone. Uh, I believe I've beaten somebody on uh, Words with Friends, and I don't think she's very happy about it. <laughs> Sorg. What? Oh, no. She's having a bad night. Don't do that to her. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. And also, I've been playing... Um, I downloaded Skee-Ball Arcade. It sucks. Just gonna throw that out there. Don't do it. Uh, and that's about it. It's been a slow... Oh, and Movie Pop. Movie Pop. And from the chat, um, uh, Tony Garza said he's playing Macarena. I don't know what that is. Hey, Macarena. It's a dance. What the hell? Yes, it is. <laughs> um, uh, Mike was playing the challenge. Uh, he just killed his rat. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, Will said rat. that he just downloaded a new DLC for WWE 2K14. And uh, he and um, Tony Garza said he loves Armored Core, Armored Core 2. Nice. Not not ar- not armor co- armor core two armored core also. <laughs> so, and I played uh, Avengers, of course. Uh, I, I, the never ending abyss of that game. It's, it's your birthday. It soul. was your birthday. You're allowed. I know. <laughs> um, and I played the Legend of Zelda: Link Between Worlds, Super Mario Brothers two, which I downloaded from the virtual uh, thing, the virtual player on the thing. On the 3DS, uh, Super Meat Boy, and a crap ton of GTA 5. I'm actually on the last mission, guys, so you can't give me any crap for not beating it because I'm about to beat it. Hey, hey, hey! Well, until uh, you beat Jachi. it, you haven't beaten it. Yeah, hey, Jaji. I'm almost, I'm almost there. How 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 long did it take you to beat GTA? 5? I know it took me a long time. I didn't, uh, I didn't play hours? it like constantly. So, it took me two days. Two days. Well, in real time, like it spread it's out, impossible. it took me probably uh, eight days. It actually, took me was, like a week. Yeah, it's about yeah. Right. It was because was uh, it was more like yeah, Bobby, I was down playing it you, for a few get, hours. Get, get, and then I haven't played. Right? I haven't been playing in a row. Okay, I leave a game and then I'll come back to it later. That's how I do things. That's how I operate. We'll so. stop. But anyways, I also play the challenge, and that's what we're going to talk about next. Did any of you guys play the challenge, which was Comic Zone, which is the 90s of all 90s games? I actually was, played was the this. challenge Paperboy? No, next week's then challenge I, is Paperboy. That I didn't play the challenge. Okay. Well, you'll play the I challenge next week because this Paperboy. last year <laughs> during the uh, 24-hour game thon Oh, you did? When I was a kid, I didn't like this game. Mm. I don't know why. When I had it for the Genesis, I hated it. Whenever I rented it, I hated it. I love this game. It's the problem. But now this game, when I'm older, the problem that the problem is this game is it's really disorienting because you're mm. going from panel to panel. It really doesn't but, make sense how you travel through the game. You have to collect rats too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, here's a cage. Like, you just confusing. broke. Hold on, I'll bring this back here. You just break one out of a cage in this spot. Like, yeah. So the rats are your buddies. And, huh. Well, that's how you get past that part. <laughs> exactly, I got stuck right? There. <laughs> I was going to say, when I got older and I played it again during the 24 hours game thon by the way, you can. I think this is your last month to donate for this year's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go to insertcoinbegin.com, click the uh, little thing on the side there, and donate. Um, but cash when I was playing money. that, I felt something that I thought I didn't wouldn't feel. Joy. <laughs> okay. I didn't, I didn't do rats. too good in that game. Because mm-hmm. I was probably half dead by then. Um, <laughs> but it was still... Pretty. I, I I like playing that game. It 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 was very it was it was a decent game. It still kind of holds up as like a classic beat 'em up, 
Um, mm-hmm. it, it just was, you could tell it was written and made in the nineties though, just by the, the, sh- like the guy had the ponytail and he, he was, just, you know, <laughs> you can tell it was made from the nineties because of the cover art, Bobby. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. He was a guy bopping around panel to panel. All it needed was, was a, uh, keyboard, uh, guitar and it was set. Mm-hmm. Keytar. Yeah, when you turn the game on, the Sega logo is just like, "Hey, welcome, welcome to Comic Zone or whatever." I don't Every even know. It's just game like very needs a key tar in your face. So, all right, um, but uh, would you guys would you guys say it still holds up? I think for the most part, better. as much as it ever did. So, all right, our next week's challenge is Paperboy Chachi. So you'll you'll be happy Ooh. with that one. Does it have to be Paperboy so. One? <laughs> It's oh, for the NES. The it's the boy. only Paperboy there is. There's I'm a Paperboy sorry. 2. <laughs> no. like, we play Paperboy no, 2 not. on my PC like all the time. The only Paperboy there is is Paperboy 1. There is no such thing <laughs> as Paperboy 2. The funniest thing about Paperboy, 100. though, is you get you go through the street delivering papers, and then at the end somebody sets up this elaborate obstacle <laughs> course for, for you with everybody watching it. It's like, the neighborhood watch. That? They're really happy with your performance. Well, they weren't watching out for all the geese, the geek, or, yeah, the geeks, the ghosts, and the <laughs> and the and the, the burglars, death. and all the other crap that 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 I just you know went through to deliver the damn papers. There are twenty five cents a piece. Exactly. So, all right, but that that's our uh, challenge for next week. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. Um, next, we're going to move on to our things you should be made aware of. Our new releases this week, guys. Two releases. Donkey really? Kong Tropical Freeze and Tiny Brains for the PlayStation Network. Shouldn't everything be coming out right now because it's the holidays? It should I be, don't know, but it's but not. Yeah. It, it, it should be. That's it. They That's all even, that we have. Are these week. all downloadable? Because there's not even cover art on this page on game trailers. I think I think um, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze is for 3DS or okay. Wii U. I'm not oh, it sure. says Wii U. Wii U? Okay, well, yes, for Wii U. Say, and I know there's, an, uh, and there's another Donkey Kong game coming out for 3DS, yeah, yeah, yeah. too, but I wasn't sure which one was which. What's that, Josh? You have to think. All right, so they just released a new Mario game. Mm-hmm. Um, they just a new- released a new Legend of Zelda. Yeah. They just released a new Forza. Yeah. New Call of Duty. New Grand Theft Auto. New Assassin's Creed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a... New, new Lego... There's a lot to go what, around. What uh, what else is there? New consoles. I mean, honestly. What? New consoles. Mm-hmm. Well, so, yeah, yeah, that's I'm, what Forza was. Well, you think that they, they would be, I mean, trying to bolster the sales of the new consoles with new games, but I guess, I mean, Tiny they Brains isn't going to right do it now. for the PSN. <laughs> they're kind of their own lineup. They don't really have to. If they're going to buy a game... In console, they're gonna get mm-hmm. the ones on launch. They're not gonna spend, yeah, true. You know, a buttload of money and then wait until well, I don't know Cabela's big hunt of entry comes out. Can't wait for that game, some bitch. Me either. Of course you will, <laughs> Bobby. Because you live in Johnstown. Yeah. And uh, pew, pew, pew. Uh, also, um, uh, another a little bit of sad news we're gonna touch on, um. You guys remember Super Mario Brothers Super Sunday Show? Damn right, of I do. Of course I do. Uh, the actor that played Luigi um, died recently. Oh. I guess like either yesterday or today. Um, he was uh, Danny Wells, a uh, Canadian actor. Um, he played Luigi, and he was 72 years old. So a little bit of our childhood leaving us there. But do you have any good memories from Super Mario Brothers Super Sunday Show? Tons. Yes. It does not hold up. No, when not you go really. back and watch it now, not but, really. Uh, no. You always look but back remember, on those shows and, and you know. I remember going uh, to my local swimming area on Sundays and then knowing it's Sunday because of <laughs> the Super Mario Super Show. Mm-hmm. So okay, so and was, um, good. I'm, I'm not. I'm, a, I'm not afraid of a minute. I did the Mario in front of the TV. Oh yeah! <laughs> had to. Or, every time I put that tape in, which was, which was always Koopzilla uh, takes over or whatever the show was, <laughs> like always doing the Mario. One of the tapes I had had Sergeant Slaughter on it. Uh, I had a friend that had the big satellite dish, and they played the entire week's episodes back to back on Sunday. So nice. I go over there and we watch like all of them. So uh, yeah, 
Yeah, I'll cool. uh, I'll be crying myself to sleep doing the Mario. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he was a good dude. He so, was just and, and I remember my my, my best shot, memory was shot. when he sat on the birthday cake for that was meant for Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Swing your arms from side to side. All right. Another thing arrived this week in the mail, guys. Or last week, or whenever it showed up at your house, it was a little late, but uh, we got our loot crates. Um, what would you guys think of the loot crate this month? Pretty good. Oh, I forgot hard. to drink my B fast. Uh, I did. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Was, I didn't know it's over there. My I should drink yet. it right now. You mean you should live cereal. on the air? Do it. You got it. All right, hold on. You, you mean yeah, that cereal right milk over that here. came with it? There it goes. Week, so, so the B fast is breakfast in a beverage, basically, it's right? It's cereal milk. It's cereal milk. <laughs> don't wait, don't spoil it for Josh. Want to touch it? So he's got it. Hold that up there, Josh. All right. So it's. Be fast. Okay. And the description says nutritious breakfast shake. I wish vanilla it were made in has eight grams of protein, eight or three grams of fiber, nutrition of a bowl of cereal and milk. Here we go. <laughs> no, I've got to shake it. Apparently, you're supposed to shake it. You're also yeah, supposed to, to chill it. Um, it says best so served chunk. chilled, but. Chunk. This is probably going to be bad. So we're going to have low-fat milk in it. You should have chilled it. (laughs) All right, so here we go. Okay, ready? Put it down. Put it down. (laughs) Chugging it? That was not a requirement. (laughs) Well, he's doing it anyways. Hmm. Hmm. You know what, guys? You kind of had breakfast right now, didn't you? Honestly? Yeah? Breakfast not that bad. (laughs) Not that bad at all. (laughs) Um... Well, it's not the worst thing I've ever drank. It, it's you not the worst thing I, I, I've never I've ever drank. And to be quite honest with you, I would drink it again. Huh. And he is. <laughs> well, you have a I just thought it next tasted time like for cereal. berry flavored. So go ahead, Chachi. Yeah, did you guys get it? Kind of, kind of tastes like um, I don't know, Frosted Flakes. <laughs> yeah, see, cereal milk. <laughs> Hold on, I'm seeing if I can buy it anywhere close to my house. Hmm. It's General Mills. They said it's available in the cereal aisle. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That I was right next to the for. Crave. All right, what was your favorite thing from this month's Crave? Honestly, not that bad. You know, I'm getting a lot of use out of the uh, South Park um, Yeah, that was speaker. probably the best thing. Because I, 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 I have my iPad kind of set up, and I watch a lot of like Hulu and everything on there and mm-hmm. Twit. Uh, so I just went ahead and plugged it in, and it's like a way better speaker than it's on my iPad. I, I, I string it around and put it between my two monitors, so it kind of takes up Chachi's going to town with the drink over there in my <laughs> peripheral. He's just like, there he goes. He's We're like, gonna find him on he's like I will, We're gonna I will not him. waste a drop of this. Um, it's the fast mustache. I finished it. But uh, no, the speaker I got a lot of use out of. Um, there's another big item in there, too. That I com- Oh, the wallet. Definitely, mm-hmm. I have a whip up, up. Now I was worried about the wall, but the wallet maybe not um, um, holding up because it's what? What's the make of the wallet again? It's a uh, uh, it's something that starts with a T paper. Yeah, uh, um, it, it, it's like on. an origami wallet. Wallet, and and you can uh, have custom ones made um, that, that that they'll print off and send to you. Uh, it, it's called Tyvek. Tyvek. It's made out of Tyvek. Okay. Yeah, it's by the company Dino Mighty. Dino Mighty. Um, I, but I ran into somebody, uh, Spoka, at, at uh, our Yin's night at Las Vegas over the weekend, and he's got one that I think it's, I think he said it's a New York City subway map. And he said, he's like, <laughs> I've had it for three years or something. And I was like, I was like, I didn't think it would hold up too well because it feels kind of, you know, chintzy. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they said it doesn't break. Like, like I, gave, I gave up a leather wallet for this thing, right? <laughs> um, so, it, and everybody got Batman, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I, I didn't know if it was a mix-up thing. So um, I, I know it's what I've Instagrammed it, and everybody says, nice wallet. So, on, on <laughs> Well, here's friends. the thing, okay? So I went from my, my Pulp Fiction wallet. Um, it, it's the one that says bad motherfucker on it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've had this for probably five years. Yeah. And all right. My the Batman wallet with all of my stuff in it mm-hmm. is not as thick as the the other wallet empty. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I constantly walk around and feel like I forgot my wallet. Yeah, that's yeah, that's been my problem about. too. <laughs> um but other than that, uh, there's a guy in the records department at my my law firm who is a huge comics fan. 
Um, and I, I've seen him go to get tea with his uh, Batman mug. And so I was like, you know what? I'll, I'll show him my wallet. He'll probably really enjoy it and probably go out and buy one. So I, I ran into him in the elevators. I'm like, hey, you need to check out my wallet. And I pulled it out, and the minute he saw it, he busted up laughing because <laughs> he reached in his pocket and pulled out the exact same wallet. What? <laughs> and he said that he's had it for two and a half years, wow. and it's still going strong. That's great. He said huh. the only problem is is that some parts are getting worn, so the Batman stuff is coming off. But the paper itself... It, it, he said it, it's perfect. Hmm. I also I also one. sold them on Loot Crate, so you're welcome, Loot Crate. <laughs> um, anything else that you guys liked in this month's crate? I, I, I haven't really played with anything else. I appreciated the uh, the Doctor Who stuff. There was the yeah. wall hanging of the uh, of the I, sign. The balloon was like, eh. yeah, the, yeah. I, I like the the wall graphic. It's like, what am I going to do with the we balloon? We got a balloon. <laughs> it's a nice little throw in, though. That's fine, you know. Yeah. I do like so. the cards. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a big. I wasn't really fond of getting like deck of cards in my uh, loot crate, mm -hmm. uh, but as I'm starting to see how unique these cards are, like I got the robot cycle cards. Yeah. <laughs> I know, uh, friend. Uh, Contributor to Insert Going to Begin Cat. Mm -hmm. uh, she got the Stickman, which made me jealous of having RoboCycle. Hmm. Uh, but other than that, I was I was pretty eh about this one. Mm -hmm. What the? F Holy shit! <laughs> I I'm sorry. Whoa. Um, so we just sent us a link here to Paperboy. What the? F <laughs> Wait, what? Tell them how much it is, Sorg. Uh, you, too, can own your own cartridge of Paperboy for the Nintendo Entertainment System for $229.99 plus $399 shipping and hand handling. That person is smoking crack mixed with heroin on top of marijuana sprinkled with angel dust. <laughs> you can also get it used 39 copies for $5.90. All right, five dollars and ninety cents. <laughs> I, I pride myself on collecting Nintendo cartridges. Okay, I know for a fact that if you pay more than five dollars for a copy of Paperboy, you yeah. deserve smacked in the face. <laughs> wow! Because uh, all you're getting here is the cartridge. Yeah. The only way a copy a of Paperboy card. may be worth two hundred dollars is if it's sealed, brand new in box, never yeah. touched. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even then, gold. it was mass produced no. to the point where it's probably not worth three hundred dollars. The Paperboy right. is only I, worth two hundred dollars if there is an actual Paperboy <laughs> who actually plays the game. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna. I, I'm move sorry. On. I. I, I got really flabbergasted when I clicked that link. No, I saw, saw it too, that. and I was like, what? So, all right, we're going to move on to our news segment. Um, Riz, I believe there's a game that's not coming back that you wrote about. What are you about. talking about, Bobby? Uh, Shenmue 3. Shenmue. Or Shenmue, Shenmue, whatever Shen, it's called. Shenmue. Never played it. Oh, my God. Wait, hold on. Is that the, but, uh... but, guys, it's coming. They're, they're coming back. Because, no, they're not. Because you're an idiot. It's or See, they're... when somebody copyrights something, it doesn't mean a damn thing. Just point that out there. It just says, hey, here's... You, you want this? to pay this? Okay, good. Uh, but still, um, it was rumored that Sega owned the right to Shenmue 3. Mm-hmm. You can gain the copyright and all that. Um, no, they didn't. Uh, as you can see on insertquintobegin.com, there is a um, nice little retort by the Sega company. And it got everybody all, you know, frizzied about it and 
whining that there's no Shenmue game. The Dreamcast is burning an FEG or something. I don't know. I don't really care. Um, just make a good Zelda, uh, no, a new, a good Sonic game, and I'll be happy with that. Uh, don't make another game that f- 200 people may play. Maybe man, even more. I don't man. know. Man, Shenmue. Was Shenmue has a following, though. though Riz. Shenmue was amazing. I know really? The, I, it was. It's yet, sword. yet it didn't no, go very it far. I, it was. It, you got to uh, walk around. And and ride a forklift. Yeah, I was exactly. gonna say that's the game, the forklift game. The forklift game. Any yeah, game with a exactly. forklift is okay. In my you don't know anything about the story, um, except there's a forklift. There's it's a about forklift. forklift no, no, no. I think, no. I think the story is somebody killed your father, and you're trying to find them. And there's all these gangs, and Via you're trying forklift. to infiltrate them. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, it's like part one of three, and three never happened. Um, yeah, and, and it's never going to happen. And just so as the action it. was picking up, the game was pretty much over. So, yes, yes, Shashi? Um, if I remember correctly, this is the game with uh, the collectible uh, bubble machine. Yes, the bubble machine. The Japanese bubble yeah. machine with like little socks. You want to know how I know that Shenmue was a failure? Why? All I remember about the game is the fact that you collected items out of bubble machines. And so, so, so? That's like, well, if you're just jumping in the game, you know, that, that that's what you're going to find, you know. Uh, no, I, I think this was... I, it. Okay, how many RPGs do I play, Josh? Zero. Yeah, yeah, and I played this game. Um, this was the first one of those games that kind of, um, like, you know, made you feel like you were part of a world, uh, I thought. And there was a little, you know, now you look, it's probably like really stiff, you know, in comparison. But it, it felt like you were you were playing a movie to a point, even the mundane parts of it, it seems. Um, but yeah, no, there was something about the game where it just felt, I don't know, it encapsulated me. Yeah, encapsulated. But the, the like rea- bubble I, machine. The reaction of, say, of the rumor that Sega had the copyright and everybody was loving it and then all of a sudden there's a brick wall that says no really really showed how how uh fragile these gamers are Mm -hmm. and made me laugh so hard if you get if you get attached to a game i mean you know like i would be devastated if they said they're never making there's not going to be a mass effect 4 I'm not going to be angry about it. I'm going to probably sit and wait for it until I'm, like, old. But I'm also going to play other games that are even better than Mass Effect 3, 2, and 1. But if they do make that game, I'm going to play that game as well. And there's probably going to be some people who say, I'm not going to play another game until Shenmue 3 comes out. Oh, good for them. Well, I would be devastated if Capcom said they were never making another Mega Man. Oh, wait. <laughs> they oh, kind of did say if that. they ever say that. What? These people are acting like a company has never stopped making a game before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean... That's the thing. Now, now in this world of everybody has a voice. Everybody yeah. has a voice. And like I said, the internet the is just degree, a bunch of people with megaphones. Argument that that Shenmue should make another game, or Sega should make another Shenmue, and everybody just freaking out because of the copyright. That's not really true. Yeah, a lot of just people jumping conclusions. So yep. yeah. All right, now that we're um, kind of people upset about games, we're gonna move on to uh, another topic similar to that: swearing in games. <laughs> uh, Riz, I think you uh, wrote our article um, about the excessive profanity and Xbox banning people. I'm gonna let you Microsoft? take this, Chachi, because uh, I accidentally stole yours without me knowing it. No, this so isn't the one you stole. Oh no! Hmm? This isn't the one you're sold. Go ahead. <laughs> well, the the article was that, um, like like Bobby said, that Microsoft was banning people on their Xbox Live, Xbox One, and the upload 
whatever it was. Uh, they're they're banning gamers from doing that for, believe a week, or a month. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, Xbox, but, you cleaned your room, Mister. And this is in our recordings. This is in the in the videos this that you can do. This is the recording, the upload, yeah. the everything like the the, the 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 clips that you have. Like if Chachi uh, goes on a rant about something, starts swearing and cursing and about Black Ops Two, and always getting sniped or something, they have the uh, right to stop Chachi from downloading things. Mm-hmm. And again. Everybody, everybody goes um, up in arms because it is Microsoft. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't see it. I don't know why they do it. I, 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 I'm going to give you an example. Uh, Sorg, are you wearing your glass right now? Uh, I am not. Shit. At the moment, no, right. but if, I can if, be. If Hello. you were wearing your glass. I am wearing my glass. Okay. Awkwardly. All right. Good. <laughs> and if you gave me, if I paid you a, an amount of money to show things in your eye, in your glass. Your glass yes, eye. <laughs> that's it. And I just start, you know, start off all nice. Not funny, Mike. Like, you know, Sorgatron. Hi. Like, just start off easy, like that. Now. Okay. As I keep going. Mm hmm. Now, look, I paid you for this money. For this you time. You paid me for this money. For this time. <clears throat> now, if I start doing this. Let me see if I can find it. There it is. Good. Now. If I start doing this, over and over again, if I start I've, showing peen eye on your on your eye, on in your eye, yeah, over and over. Live again, ASCII penis demonstration going on on the show right now. If you're just joining us, to let me continue <laughs> this monstrosity, even though I paid you to do paid you for this. I'm completely missing the point of this example. Yeah, well, me too. You yeah, me too. own. I think the you glass. just want to send sword. I own the glass. Somewhere. I own the glass. You are the glass. Yes. I pay you to use the the glass. You pay me to use the glass. No, I pay you to so I can use the glass. So you can use the glass in the way that you just demonstrated with the ASCII yes. peni. Okay. Now, if I keep pay, if I keep doing this, yeah, wouldn't you, the guy who owns the hardware that I am paying you so I can use, would you be mad at me doing that? Yeah, I generally over, am when over, you send me ASCII over, penises over, even for free. But um, so so <laughs> in this case, in this case, um, you. Am, am, am I Microsoft and you're paying me money? Is that what's happening? I think yes. I, I, I think your I think your your example is a little off. Um, and also in the article you say that we're 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 paying uh, five hundred dollars to use Microsoft's hardware under their terms. Yes, you are. Mm-hmm. You don't own. Hey, hey guys, guess what? Yeah, we don't own. Anything you don't own anymore. shit when it comes to know. video games. You we don't, don't own the software. Anymore. You don't know anything. You got a disc. Yeah, you you have a license to use that game using that yeah. disc. This is this is they can shut you off anytime. You want to go mm-hmm. digital on this thing? Uh, Amazon has shut people off from their Amazon accounts, and when they bought books and hundred dollars of books and books, that's all gone, guys. That's something we need to realize. There, you're playing by these guys' terms. You're you're paying Microsoft. You're paying Xbox Live. But if you break their rules, they're going to pull the plug on you. Mm-hmm. Um, my, and, and saying that Microsoft is, is making these arbitrary rules, they're trying to protect themselves. Because if a bunch of, if, if all they're known for, I mean, it's hard enough for them to deal with, uh, I load up a game, my kid loads up a game, and somebody's, you know, swearing at them. That's a problem. 
But mm-hmm. now it's demonstrated and recorded in this fashion. It is a problem. It's it's a PR nightmare for these guys to say, oh, this is a thing. You're going to pay $500 for this piece of equipment and do this to be with all these lewd people on the internet. Right? Uh, uh, that, ha, 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 I just did naughty things to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I, and that becomes uh, Xbox is trying to, this is a new technology, and they don't want the first thing to come out of this new technology to be something lewd and gross, and, and, and that's the thing that ends up on the nightly news, and nobody's buying the Xbox. Just well, like when Google Glass, and from your example, uh, uh, somebody came up with a porn app for it, they didn't want the news to be about how you can get porn on this new thing. Um, they're controlling that message, and they're trying to make sure it doesn't become known for uh, the bad apples that are represented on here. Yeah, it's not it's not just Microsoft either. Uh, I know Sony was having trouble with their new um, streaming game. I can't, I can't playroom. That's funny. That's funny. I, I was reading up on that. So so they get the you turn on a camera. It's supposed to be like mm-hmm. you playing, uh, and there's these you little play, robots like, that robots, interact right? with you. Yeah. But like I saw like the compilation video that was going around where it's like somebody's like chatting and you've turned on playroom and they can chat with you. And there's like mm-hmm. this little kid sitting there and he's like I'm in the window behind you and the kid yeah. goes to check like like, like fuck with the kids like that. Um, yeah, that's scary though. Yeah, you and but but that and like people so, start doing talk shows between this thing and the idea yeah. is basically it's supposed to be you know a video of you streaming while you're playing games mm-hmm. and then you well, interact my, my that way right? um sony was okay with the talk show they were oh they, they were, were actually so really okay sony... with it. but then okay. people started like just getting real rude to them and just calling in and oh, just threatening them is... and stuff like that i mean <laughs> apparently somebody was getting blown playing uno according to juggler john in the chat room <laughs> yeah i've heard i've heard of uh like they were also there was also a story about you know a drunk guy comes in uh, with his drunk wife, and the yes, camera was still out. on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and heard about and this. Uh, we don't worry about drunk Xbox. Wife lifted up her top for everybody to see. Well, he stripped the, or one one guy stripped his like knocked out wife on the couch. Yeah. Yeah, like yep. that's well, not. Hey guys, gaming. guess what happens when you put a camera in the living room that's always yeah. on or can be on at any time or an accidental yeah. voice command? Boom. Exactly. Still so, under boom. Microsoft. Thing is, everybody but, had to buy the camera for this one too. Yeah. yeah, you, yeah. The one funny thing for, from all this though, um, there was some. There was another story about FIFA, the new FIFA game for Xbox One. Um, if you swear at the referees in the game, your club will send you a uh, message. Basically saying, don't do that or we'll fine you. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, I, I kind of like that. I, I think that's kind of funny. So, all right, uh, we're going to move on to our next topic, which is going to tie into our boss battle question um, about Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and the Steam sale that went on this weekend. Um, oh, did you gosh. guys pick up anything? That's the, that's the boss battle question. Uh. Um I picked up a few things. I picked up uh, the Lego Marvel, uh, Lego Marvel Super Heroes. Uh, I picked up Kingdom Hearts, and I picked up two games on Steam: um, uh, Cities XL and uh, Final Fantasy VII. I think Final Fantasy VII was like three dollars. So, um, did you guys take any advantage of any of the sales that, sales that went on? Avoid it like a plague. Unfortunately, the one thing I do not uh, avoid, and I was actually kind of sad. I thought I thought they were kind of lacking in good stuff this year. Uh, but mm-hmm. I usually partake in the iPhone sales pretty mm-hmm. significantly. Uh, to the tune of, I think I spent like ten bucks this year. Uh, Crazy Taxi Jet Set Radio were two bucks Ooh, a piece. Nice. Um, NHL Two K Eleven was ninety nine cents. Mm-hmm. Uh, World of Goo was free. Uh, wow, that's a great TNA game Impact was a dollar ninety nine, as you guys have Shut been seeing on the Mayhem <laughs> Show board. That has been a blast. Um, yeah, I think that's the big stuff for the for for me for the week. Um, and I got a Nexus Seven. And you got a Nexus Seven. For yeah, like so I'll be playing off. games on that too. Um, and I think you'll enjoy that for the game. I, I really enjoy yeah. playing games on the, on the, on the Seven. Um, beautiful screen. And, uh, the, 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 I almost bought Bioshock. Uh, the last one, it was like twenty bucks, I think, on Steam. I was like, mm-hmm. no, no, you won't get to it. No, finish some other. No. Shark Infinite was ten, no. was ten bucks. It was ten. Yeah, it was ten it was bucks 10 on something, but it was like PC only. But it, it's cross platform yeah. on Steam, so I was very, very close to that one. So, mm. um, Xbox had some crazy sales. Like, like yeah, uh, Far it, Cry Three was under five bucks. Um, there was, uh, geez, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff they had. Well, going it wasn't on. Far. It wasn't Far Cry Three. It was Blood Dragon. Okay, 
It was yeah, a, like, but Blood, Blood Dragon's actually almost better than Far Cry 3, I've heard. Okay. <laughs> so. Holy shit, guys. Hmm. Uh, for everyone but Riz, I just found a Doctor Who game. Okay. On Android. On Android? Is yeah, that that See What You Say? What's that? Say What You See? It's uh, called Doctor Who Legacy. <gasps> Did they come out and with that? Yeah, it came out yesterday. I am going to download that as soon as this is over. Because I've been waiting for that. So. Well, I, I, Sorg was talking about sales and stuff, so I wanted to go and see what was going on. Hmm. And, because I, I don't buy myself video free? games. Yeah, it's free. Yeah. Ooh. All right, that'll do it for us this week. On <laughs> <laughs> There it is. <laughs> But yeah, I, I, I w- I've been waiting for that to come out on in America because it came out in the UK and everybody's been like talking about it and stuff. And I'm like, I want to play it. So well, then uh, I know what tomorrow's review will be. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, go and there, download that is the right Sonic now. Also, also on iOS. Is the Sonic Screwdriver app also out? Because there is one. Uh, I downloaded one. Over it's the Doctor official. Here. There's one That's official one from the BBC. You know, there's a bunch of them on uh, on the iOS. There's actually uh, mazes of. Hold on, it's cut off. Mazes That's of terrible. time. Mazes of time. It's bad. That's yeah. It's not terrible. It's just. All right, uh, I'm going to download the free version and see what this is about. But it's a whole dollar ninety nine if you want to try it out. See what you say there's is a, not too bad either. There's a dollar ninety nine Sonic screwdriver app. iHuvian. There's some other stuff. Some other stuff. Is there? Anyways, see what you say. Back to it. Anybody else buy anything on Black Friday? Um, I for the for the Steam sales, I almost did. Mm-hmm. I I I have the tendency to do stuff on 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 Steam whenever have when they have, whenever they have like sales and combinations and all that. Mm-hmm. Like I've recently picked up both uh, Chivalry and the Deadliest Warrior add-on for Chivalry. <laughs> I haven't yeah, played Deadliest either Warrior one of those so yet, last week on even Xbox though race. I've heard they're pretty damn good. Um, but this, during Black Friday and um, the Steam sales, they they tempted me so much. <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> they they, I I, they tempted me, but I I didn't succumb to the temptations. <laughs> <laughs> I see sunlight and sunshine. The temptation. <laughs> the temptation. No. no. <laughs> oh, that's a great, great movie. All right. Um, that's gonna do it for us this week. Um, you can follow us on at insertcointv.com or at insertcointv on the twitters. Um, you can go to the website. Uh, new articles going up. Um, as soon as we can get them up there. Um, right. on insertcointvbn.com. You can still donate to uh, let's or our let's play thing there till the end of the year um and our challenge for next week chachi is paper boy um so get your papers and fling them at, at uh, various things you can buy it for uh, 200 dollars, and you can buy it on amazon for 299 dollars or five dollars and 19 cents you make that decision we're not gonna you know Oh, yes, we are. I'll judge you. Look, we'll judge the <laughs> crap out of you. Judgey, judge, judge. Yeah. yeah so. I will judge the, the, the – I will judge you I'll until there's the no judging left to judge. judge. All right. Judge Ryan. Well, it, this is a judge-free zone, so all right. That will do it for us. Game over. Judge Judy. <laughs> judge Judy.